right back here on this couch my big comfy couch here at Cena's Dolls. Hello everyone. Hello and welcome back to the Big Comfy Couch. Before we get started, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already and you love my videos. Go ahead and subscribe and share this video with your other Adali friends. Yes. Look at this beautiful baby girl in front of you. Look at all this chocolate. Yes, look at this chocolate baby. She is so beautiful, you guys. She is the newest reborn in my collection. And she is the perfect baby for this chat and change. Yes, she is. Oh, yes, she is. She is the Gianna. That's why I think this scope name is pronounced. How I think the scope name is pronounced is Gianna. She is the prototype number five. She is beautifully, beautifully reborn by Mario. And her, um, she's a wonderful artist. She's prototype number five. And her um, nursery name is Pebbles and Patches Nursery. And her sculpting artist is um, Lana, Miller, Lana Miller Sands. And I did want to mention that this sculptor is a sculptor work that we've never seen duplicated. Okay. And I have to add that work has never been duplicated and her work is protected. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give her props for that. Good job. A lot of Miller sand for that. Okay. We've never seen your work duplicated. Okay. So. I'm going to give her props for that, and I'm going to go ahead and say the sculptor's name for this, this baby girl. Moving forward, um, just to let you guys know, when I um, show you all a reborn, I'm not going to be saying the sculptor's name of that the doll, especially if it's a doll that, you, that I've presented on my channel. I'm not going to be saying who the sculptor's name is and all that. Now, um, if it's a sculptor that I really think highly of and they don't send the molds to China, things like that, then I will go ahead and give that sculptor um, their props and praise because then it, they deserve that. So I'm going to do that. But if it's a sculptor that... Um, that is contributing to all of this craziness that's going on to, in the community, then I won't. I'm just going to tell you all the names that I named, um, that I'm named at all moving forward. So this one here doesn't have a name just yet. Well, I'm thinking of a name. Well, I have a name that I have in mind that may suit her, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not going to say it just yet. So I'm gonna put her in one of these cute outfits that I um, that came in her box opening that I think is really cute. And this is the one right here. This cute little corduroy dress here. And um, it's gray and plaid. It's, it's gray and pink plaid here. This cute little blush pink hair bow with the matching white and blush pink socks with the bow on the end here so that's what she's gonna have on and i'm gonna be messing in this beautiful hair ay, 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 ay. and then she's still having this cute onesie i was worth the wait and i'm so happy her ears are already pierced she's just beautiful beautiful so um i just want to Go ahead and do a little chat of, you know, my thoughts about um, how I'm feeling now. I know I've made a couple of videos after the video that I made about um, the, um, the um, Dolls of the World Expo. When I let you all know what happened to me and some other dollices 
and um in this video i'm just gonna you know just wrap it up and just give you all you know just some of my thoughts now for some of you who are thinking like oh you're gonna talk about it again you don't want to hear it just go ahead and click off the video just go ahead and click off the video go do something else because let me tell you this is my platform this is my channel and I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. If you're tired of hearing it and you don't want to be here, don't. You don't have to be here. But I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about on my channel. I'm going to share what I want to share about on my channel. And if you got a problem with that, it's your problem and not mine. I just want to make that clear right now. Because I don't want nobody in my comment session trying to control me. Okay? Don't do that. I got my coffee here because I found somebody trying to do that to me. That's not what you're going to do. You're not controlling me. I cannot be controlled. Okay. I'm going to start with that. I cannot be controlled. You're not going to control me in my hobby, in my happy place. You're not going to control me. You don't control Cena's dolls. You can run over there and control all your other people. You're not going to control me. Okay. We're going to start with that. So if you're not going to like what I got to say and you don't want to hear it no more, go ahead and click off. It's your time to go. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Go ahead. All right. So they're gone. <laughs> they should be gone. If they're still here, then they're going to hear what I got to say. So first and foremost, I want to go ahead and thank everybody who spoke up and made a video and showed the love and the support that you did against what that um, that doll show presenter or you know the doll show what is it called um, organizer that group those group administrators are we're doing or we're trying to do and and actually are still doing okay i'm glad you guys stood your ground and i just want to thank you for that i really want to thank you deep down inside i know i, I think you guys on the live that myself and uh spring flowers did but i want to thank you again on um, my platform seeing as dolls i truly 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 appreciate it and i'm also very very proud of you for that for standing your ground for standing your ground and not allowing that to take place because if that would have went on there's no telling what else would have been the next thing people try you to see how far they can go of far as control and there's no telling what the next thing would have been after that so you guys could just pat yourself on the back for that one you guys stood strong and um yeah I'm, I'm just thankful that you guys really really came through on that seriously and to my dolly sisters united i love you guys yes i love you guys so so very much and just to let everybody know, we are going to have a Dolly Family United meetup in Atlanta. Yes, yes, yes. We're having a Dolly Family United meetup in Atlanta. The dates are June 28th through the 30th. The information on um, how to get more information is going to be and the um, description of this video, okay, we have a Facebook group that we just started last week, okay, it's a brand new Facebook group. So I'm going to have the name of that Facebook group and the information in this video down below. And I'm also going to put my email address down below and also Spring's email down below as well. So if, you, so if you're not on Facebook, on also our Instagram email. I mean, Instagram DM, so you can DM us if you don't have Facebook um, or 
Instagram, you can email us to get the information, okay? It's going to be June 28th again through the 30th. It's going to be so much fun. We'll love to have you, okay? It's going to be June 28th through the 30th. It's going to be the exact same day as that doll show because those were the days that, you know, we took off, that other people took off, that we have already had planned to go to the doll show. So those are the days that we already have free. So those are the exact same days that we're going to plan for the Atlanta Dolly Family United meetup. So, yes. So there are some things that I would like to clear, clear up as well. Um in this video now um first and foremost i wanted to address this part okay if something happens to someone and they're telling their story like something happened to something happened to me okay and this time i just happened to have a platform which is my youtube channel spring had a, has a platform and Monica has a platform. Donna has a platform. We all have YouTube channels. If something happens to someone is an unjust, because I feel like it was an unjust, because it was, okay? We come on, oh, I came on and I told my story. That's not creating drama, okay? That's not creating drama. That is, let, that is letting people be aware of what this these people and what this particular show is doing okay because people had to know do you understand okay that's not creating drama that's letting people be aware of what's going on okay so what other people try to do is try to make us feel like we're creating drama and that's, that's not the case. We're not creating drama. We're telling our story. Think about it like this. You wouldn't have the rights. Most of us wouldn't have the rights that we have today or the freedoms that we have today if it wasn't for, other, for others telling their stories from the past. If it wasn't from others speaking up and fighting for what, for what was right. We wouldn't have the freedoms that we have for today. Always think about that. Do you understand? So that is not us creating drama. It's making others be aware of what's going on. Because it's a real thing. A real thing. Discrimination is real. And that is exactly what that is is and what that was was discrimination discrimination discriminating against me for my beliefs i believe my beliefs is people should be able to have the freedom to collect what they want to collect that that's my belief that is my belief so they're discriminating against my belief and they're discriminating um against me from for my association from people um, for them um, collecting replicas and things like that. You understand what I'm saying? And then they're discriminating against those people for collecting replicas. And they haven't even hit the showroom yet. Okay? So, that's not creating drama. So, for one, me telling my story and them telling their story, that's not drama. I had to clear that up. Another thing that I need to clear up is the way that I came on, the way that I expressed myself, and the way that I made my connection of the, the, the discrimination, the way that I expressed myself of how it felt, how it cut deep, how I related it to me being a black woman, an African-American woman living in America, Okay, that's the way it feels, how I felt. That is not playing the black card. That is being a real true, that is giving a real true example of what it is. And that's my reality. And I have the right to express that 
on my platform. So for anybody to come tell me that I'm playing the black card or for me to, to, um, or to say that I don't have that right or try to downplay my feelings, that's wrong. That's wrong. And I won't allow anybody to take that away from me because I can express myself how I feel because those are my feelings. I have the right to speak and express and give examples of how that feels. I watched a, um, a video this morning, actually. I think it's the channel's called Black Lotus. And um, I think her name is Jonas. I want to be correct. And she gave a very good video. And she made an example of discrimination, of how she been discriminated against because she's legally blind. And she gave great examples of how her being legally blind, how she's been discriminated against. And she's just giving examples of discrimination against her disability because people with disabilities are discriminated against in her country. She's in Canada. You know, she's giving her example. That's not her pulling no type of card. You know what I'm saying? Like, how dare people say stuff like that? Oh, you're pulling a black card or... Or somebody could say, oh, she's pulling whatever kind of car for that. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. How dare you? And I want to make another point. I want to say this. There's no one spokesperson for black people or African-American people in this community. Let me say that. Okay? Because it seems to me that there's this black man... In this community who thinks that he is the spokesperson for all black people in this dog community or and or reborn community. And that is not the case because I sat back and seen every time a black person in this community express how they feel. Here he come making a statement or a video and saying, oh, this not racist or this is not that. Like he is the spokesperson for all the black people or African-American people in this community to downplay how they feel or downplay their feelings or, or their experience. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You cannot tell nobody how they feel or what their experience is. You are not the spokesperson for every black person in this community. So you could sit your ass down and shut the hell up. You sure can. And you know who I'm talking to and talking about. And y'all can see him this video. Because what you can do, you could come on live with me. And we could talk about this face to face on live. That's what we could do. If you want to be a spokesperson for every black person in this community, we could go toe to toe on this one. We sure can. We sure can, college student, because I got kids your age. And I could school you on a few things. You could be schooled. Because that's what you're not going to do is downplay no black person's feelings up in here about how they feel about their experience. That's what you're not going to do. You understand what I'm saying? We're not, we're not going to play that. Because we could go on a live. And I could school you. Because don't play with it. Because I wanted to clear that up first and foremost. Because that upset me. Because that's not what you're going to do. You're not going to downplay nobody's feelings about how they felt. Or how they feeling. You are not the spokesperson for every black person in this community. That's point blank and period. Because like I said, we can go on a live together and we can talk about this in front of everybody in the community. Because we're not going to do that. Because I done seen you do that too many times. Let's not play with it. Now, let me get on and address this baby because y'all got my 
blood pressure up and I ain't even got no problem with no high blood pressure. But that 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 boiled me. That boiled my my blood because I done seen him do that too many times. We're not gonna do that making statements. Oh, that's not this and that. Don't do that. Somebody else experience is their experience, not yours. Not yours. We can talk about them dolls you be making. Let's get on that. Let's get on your dolls. That's what we could get on. Them Dollar Tree blankets. Them rooting jobs. Stuff like that. Let's get on some real stuff. But you ain't going to get on nobody's feelings and how they feel they was treated. That's what we're not going to get on. What the hell are you talking about? All right. Moving along. Next thing I want to talk about. <sighs> All right. I had to take some time off to cool, to cool down. All right. I'm going to put her on this cute little onesie. Onesie shirt. All right. So. Also, too, what I wanted to say is. Let me see. Got to put this on her. Oh, Lord, help us all. All right. Now, this thing with the um, associations, this is what I want to hit on. The associations is um, if you're not a, um, it, first of all, let me say this. And this is, this is just the truth. This is just the truth. You know, these problems that we're having, this is this is that reborn community. Because there's, there's different communities. The doll community, there's that reborn community. That reborn community, and I'm saying that because I'm, I'm, I'm going to disassociate myself with the reborn community. That's what I said I'm going to do. I'm just going to disassociate myself with the reborn community because since this situation, um, a very, a very... Um, nice artist. Well, I thought she was nice. That I always looked up to. Um, blocked me because her master, her cult leader, her god, told all those artists to block people, and a lot of people that they blocked were their customers, right? Because a lot of people who are associated with people who collect replicas and who collect and who also collect replicas, they collect authentic as well. Or even if they haven't even started collecting um, authentic dolls, they planned on to in the future once they got their money together. Because I don't even know if anybody noticed, which I know people notice, these are hard times for a lot of people, right? But anywho, they done cut off a lot of they, they money lines, right? So, you done cut off your money or your potential money for the future. So, we just taking notes of, we looking at people, okay? Are y'all taking notes of people who blocked you? Artists who, 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 who blocking you? So, I'm like, okay, so this lady done blocked me. I spent money spent money with that lady i sent so many people over there i'm like was that a wise thing to do right i'm like okay all right so y'all cutting off the hand to feed you there was so many people that they're blocking for no reason just because of their associations and the type of dolls that they collect just because there are a selected group of sculptors who decided to send their molds to China and everybody, and every, I mean, everybody knows if you send anything to China, they're going to duplicate it because that's what China do. Why would you send your stuff to China? You know, they're going to duplicate it because you're trying to have something cheaper. And then instead of you going after those companies, your strategy is we going to bully the collectors. We're going to bully the collectors 
in the community. That's our strategy. We ain't going to worry about them. We're just going to bully them and tell them not to do it. We're going to continue to send our stuff to China because it's cheaper or whatever they got in their contract. But we're going to bully the collectors online. We're going to harass. We're going to cyber bully them online and on social media. That's going to be our strategy. That's dumb as hell. Who does that? Who does that? Because most of us, we have relationships with other people. We've built relationships with other people. And we're the ones who are buying from you. So you're, you are biting the hand that feeds you. It's already slow for, for a lot of artists already. So what you going to do, starve? Was that a smart business strategy? No, that's dumb as hell. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? So this artist cut me off. You don't think I'm going to tell any, everybody I know about what you did? You blocked me from all the social media platforms? You don't think I'm going to tell all my people about you? That's crazy. That is crazy. Because of my associations and because I made a video about what happened to me, you're going to go block me. So you rather for me to have stay quiet and silent in the corner than to tell my story. So you mad because I told about the injustice that was done to me. You rather for me to have not said nothing. You rather for me to have been suffering in silence. Then they had told my story. So you mad and gonna block me off of all the social media platforms. That's crazy to me. Because these sculpting artists want to save some money and send their things to China. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? That does not make sense to me. At all. But that's okay. I'm, I'm just let them know what type of person that you are. Anybody who ever asks me, I'm going to let them know. No, don't, no, not a good person. That And that's not being a good person. You are not a good person and you have no good ethnics at all. Why would I send anybody to you? You have no good ethnics at all. Because you choosing, you choosing vinyl over people because the thing about it is let me tell you something our silicone over people the thing about it is this is the thing these these dolls they're pretty and everything but they don't have a heartbeat they don't have feelings right people could they probably will remember let's say five years down the road or maybe 10 years down the road a beautiful doll that you made but let me tell you 30 years from now, maybe 40 years from now, somebody going to always remember how you made them feel. People don't forget. People don't forget how you made them feel. People don't never forget how you made them feel. Always remember that. They don't. And I'm, I'm going to always choose people over inanimate objects like this as such. And I'm gonna always tell my story because people had to know what was going on with that dog show. Because if I would have showed up there, it's spring coming all the way from Bermuda, would have showed up and they would have turned us away at that door. Do you know how embarrassing? Just imagine if I would have even though I didn't plan for her to come, but if I would have bought my daughter with me and told her that we was going to a doll show, she has autism, and I'm getting her all ready to go into a doll show, and we couldn't get through that door, you know how much of a meltdown she would have had right then and there in front of them people? It would have been horrible. I don't play those type of games. I, I, I just cannot get over that. I'm still, even though, you know, we're going to do our own meetup, it's over. I mean, it's the whole, like, ordeal type of thing is, like, winding down. It's still a hurtful thing. It is. It, it really, truly is. 
to be discriminated against. It, it, I mean, to be honest, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to keep it all the way 100. It's a hurtful thing that somebody would do something like that and then turn around and lie about it and say that we lying, saying that Spring put up dolls in, in the group or something like that, some fake, fake doll pictures in the group or some some stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. It's a hurtful thing that somebody discriminated against you, then turn around and lie about it. You know, it's it's just that's something that's gonna take me a minute to get over. But I'm not gonna never forget it, and I'm not gonna never forget how I was treated by other people during this ordeal. And let me tell you something else. I'm not having no secret dolly relationship with nobody you understand me let me clear this up i can understand you know there are some people especially um there are some artists where you can't get involved your money and everything and they got you in, in a bad situation but you didn't block me you know what i'm saying but you can't be commenting on videos i can understand that i can understand that i'm talking about other collectors whereas it got to be a secret friendship. It wasn't secret at first. Now it's a secret friendship. I'm not having no secret friendship. I'm not having no secret friendship. Okay? If you cannot be who you normally were before, stay how you is now. I'm not dealing with you. Period. I'm not being nobody's secret. I'm just letting you know that right now. I'm not being nobody's secret. Dolly friend, I'm not nobody's secret. If you scared to be associated with me, stay scared because I'm not nobody's secret. Just letting you know that right now. Stay where you're at, scared. Because I'm not playing those type of games. You don't want to be um, associated, stay not associated. Go over there. Just know this. Something pop off and you do, you, you, something happened with a disjustice with you, because it's going to happen because those people over there, they're going to show who they are because that's who they are. I'm going to be still where I'm at. And I'm going to deal with it how you deal with it. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. So, anywho, that's all I need to say. Um, Let me brush her hair. And I just, you know, just that that reborn community, like I said, I'm just disassociating myself from them. They, that just don't make sense. Y'all are gathering behind a false and fake narrative. Just because a few artists, and that's not all artists, like there are some really, really good artists and there are some really, really smart artists who do not send their scopes to China and who protects their work. So there are not like everybody can't, you know, suffer. I mean, everybody is suffering behind this because it's creating drama, but there are not all artists are not doing that. All sculpting artists are not doing that over there. You know what I'm saying? But just because they want to save a few pennies, send their work over there and then harass and bully collectors who wants to buy it. That is ridiculous ridiculous that is that that makes no sense and then you got followers who following behind you and want to act like thugs want to act like a gang want to act like a gang like y'all rapping a um a, a a street or something like a a gang or something it's crazy or a cult or something like that like it is it's crazy want to bully somebody over what kind of collection they got and it's a false narrative it's straight up a false narrative it's false because they're trying to save money stop trying to save money and don't send your stuff to china or pay the cost pay the fee that you need to pay to protect your work in china period period or shut the hell up Period.
and that's the this the last i'm gonna talk on this this the last i'm gonna talk on this but this is this is what i had to say like i said this is my platform if you guys don't like what i had to say about it then that's that's just what it is but this is the last that i would say about that whole doll show incident you know what i'm saying this the last one i'm gonna say about that whole doll show incident this is my stance on it and how i felt about that whole thing um i'm glad that everybody came together i want to shout out to stephanie thank you so very much stephanie for coming through and i know that she been through so 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 much and she been saying this the whole time for years she been saying it it's a false narrative y'all it's a false narrative that they going by ain't nobody steal nothing from them they knew the rules and regulations even if you didn't know the first time when you sent it over there you knew the second time the third fourth fifth and you know it now and you're still doing it but your strategy is to bully the collectors get the hell up out of here that's crazy that is crazy and that I, I just can't get over that. That 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 y'all acting like a group of thugs. Y'all worse than the Bloods and the Crips. Y'all worse than the Bloods and the Crips out here. Seriously, that is what I'm comparing you to. Cause what's next? Cause what's next? That's what I'm comparing you to. Show sure is. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Cause the way y'all going about it, you don't know if somebody gonna hurt themselves over the way y'all going about it. The way y'all um pointing people out and cyberbullying them. That is ridiculous. That's harassment. Leave people alone. Leave people alone. That is crazy. Look at her. I think this outfit is little. I think this outfit too little because this is tight right here. She, this is a newborn. I think she's like zero to three. This is tight on her. I might have to change her outfit. She look. This looks too tight on her. I think I'm gonna put her in zero to three. This baby outfit. This is too little. Look how little it is. Look how this goes up like this. See, this is this is a newborn. This is too little, y'all. Oh my goodness, she's cute though. But I'm probably going to change her into something else because her's a fat baby. All right, you all. That's what I wanted to say because um, it had to be said. But moving forward, um, 2024, we're going to have great videos. We're going to have more uplifting videos. Um, I'm still going to get do my keeping it all the way 100. So we're still, still going to have to keep it all the way 100, okay? But um, the, as far as this dog show, I'm done. I'm done, okay? But, all right, you all, uh, this is the end of uh, that video. Shout out to Spring. Shout out to Monica. Shout out to um, Donna. Shout out to Mandy. Shout out to Josie. Shout out to Stephanie. Shout out to MJ. Shout out to uh, uh, everybody who made a video. Everybody who made a video. I love you. And as always, you all. Stay blessed because you are. Be safe out there. And we will be back for another video.